Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very interesting feature that you could add to your ASP.NET Core Web API or ASP.NET Core uh, uh, MVC application. You could also use the same feature with your classic ASP.NET uh, Web API 2 or MVC applications. The feature that I'm going to tell you about here is, is to give your API or web application the searchability uh, kind of experience when people are mistyping what they're looking for. You, you get back to them and you say, did you mean to look for this particular thing rather than this thing that you actually typed? It's, it's something that you see in your day-to-day -day search on uh, famous or popular search engines like Google or Bing. Uh, let me show you how, how this looks like in the real world. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this, but for the purpose of this video, let's show you exactly what we're looking for here. So if I go to google.com and then I search for, I'm looking for Michael but I am typing so fast or I can't remember the name so I type in make a hit something like that what Google does and it'll come back and say did you mean you're we're showing results for for Michael instead of make a heel I think you mistyped that name the same thing happens with Bing if you go to Bing.com and you type in the exact same thing you can see it in here because I tried it you know uh, it's, it says the exact same thing, including search results for uh, Michael instead of Mika Hill, right? So how do we bring that to our simple applications? You know, this is not, this is, there's a lot of algorithms that live behind something like that. But if you're building an ASP.NET MVC or a web API, you could actually do this with almost, you know, a couple of lines of code. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have here a very basic uh, ASP.NET MVC web application. I have a database, I have a student's model, and I have a, a data context broker. It's a pretty straightforward data context. You, I'm going to run, it's an uh, ASP.NET Core MVC application. If you're not familiar with building projects like these, I highly recommend you go back to some of my videos or any other videos on the internet to show you how simple and easy you can build in a full CRUD operation with the UI for, for a web application with, with ASP.NET Core. So anyways, so this is just a web application. I just ran the project. You go in, you have a bunch of students. It shows you the delete, the update. I added my name in here. We're going to add a bunch of other names like Michael. We're going to add in... Uh, Michelle, I think I mistyped that. And then uh, let's go back and see. How do you type that? Is it like this? I think it's like this. And then let's add in Mitchell, for instance. Right. So you have you have a bunch of names that look very similar to each other, but you also have Hassan in here, right? And I'm doing that for a purpose. If you were to build in a, a simple search in your ASP.NET MVC, how would you go about doing that? It's very simple. I'm going to go in here and say um, I want to add in a control in the index area. So I'm going to go in here and say ASP, uh, uh, ASP form, ASP form, ASP action right so here's a form and then we want an input so let's call that my input let's give it a name search keyword right here's an input and then we want a submit button so I'm gonna put a button in here and say type submit and say search right and on the back end for the um, um, for the index controller so the index in here does the get right so let's do a post and let's build in here a sync task I action result index and then you have the string search keyword that's the keyword that we were um, that we just created an input parameter for and then we're returning a view with the the database context students where student student.name equal equal search keyword so this way if you're saying and, and put that to list async right so this way if you're searching for Hassan you're gonna get Hassan it'll, it'll filter your existing list to whatever you're looking for 
right? That's still pretty straightforward. There's nothing magical happening in there, right? This is not the good part yet. So let's run our application. Let's see if what I'm telling you is actually real. Talk is cheap. Show me the code, right? Everyone can talk about features. Don't believe it until you see an actual implementation, right? So let's load our application here. Let's give it a second. Students should show everything unless we filter. And if I'm looking for um, uh, Hassan and I'm clicking enter, it should just filter that to Hassan. Very straightforward. Looking for Michael. Here's Michael. But what if I typed in make a heel like that? It'll say, nope, I can't find that, right? Because you don't have make a heel. So that's a terrible user experience, right? Because people make mistakes. We're not perfect. And we need to support, you know, an experience that actually works with the imperfections that we have as people. So how do we do that? It's a very simple thing. Let's go to, we're going to use something called Soundix. Soundix is a very ancient, very strong SQL feature that helps you helps find for you um, keywords or data that sounds like what you're looking for. Hence, I said sounds like. It's called Soundex. Let's see how we implement that. So let's go ahead in here and build in a, a function that returns a string and let's call it sounds like. You can call it whatever you want. And that sounds like function takes in a keyword as an input parameter, right? That function really doesn't do anything. So we're going to say throw new not implemented exception because the function is not really going to run on your application. It's going to run on the SQL server, right? But in order for it to run on the SQL server, we have to add a, a little magical annotation here that we call db function, right? And your function name, this is a built-in function name that you could use in your normal SQL server. It's called soundix right and then for our schema we don't have a schema right we don't have anything else so i'm going to leave this as an empty string sounds like something sounds like soundix runs on the sql server and this is just an interface to allow you to to uh, to to interact with it right so these are what uh, two lines of code right let's go improve our um students controller so instead of us saying where student blah 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 we're going to do a little a little magic here we're gonna say where is my context this is uh, Washington school context broker sounds like so the student name sounds like right let's let's put a new line in here that's way too long line it's really sad some developers let the lines get way too long if it's more than 120 characters you know you may as well just break it so it's readable right and then the same thing in here data context broker sound like sounds like search keywords. So what am I saying here? I'm basically saying find something that sounds like this search keyword and see if there's something that matches it in the database that I'm looking for. What would that look like? Let's go find out. So a lot of people, because uh, my name is not super popular, a lot of people mispronounce my my own name, right? So instead of saying Hassan, they'll say Hassan with the E or Hassan with, with one S or, you know, you'll see all kinds of different ways people mispronounce things, right? Let's go back to students in here and try this. So for the folks that will say Hassan, for instance, H-E-S-S-A-N, if I search, what happens? It still returns Hassan. If I say Hassan with one S, it still knows what I'm looking for. But what about make a heel, the thing that we looked for earlier? So earlier, so that's make a heel like this. What would it return? It returned Michelle and Michael. Michelle and Michael. This is a very uh, easy experience that helps you um, provide better user experience to your users, right? And it only takes very few lines of code, right? Uh, let's try different things. Let's try Mitchell. See, I typed in Mitchell with an S like this, but Mitchell with a C here worked out. Very simple feature that makes your API or ASP.NET MVC application so much more powerful. If you have any questions, comments, 
Um, feedback, feel free. Please share the video to spread the knowledge. Uh, uh, more than happy to answer your questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.